This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4. Verse 15. This the people saw, Shalakia, verse 14. For his soul pleased the Lord. Therefore hasty he to take him away from among the wicked. This the people saw and understood it not. Neither they laid up this in their minds. That his grace and mercy is with his saints. And that he have respect unto his chosen. I want to give all praise honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rekakwadash for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And there's no God beside them. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for being faithful witnesses to the Holy Spirit and Shalom to the elect, whom the most I have given is to hear. And, um, you know, I want to get into, uh, I want to get into <clears throat> this, uh, this scripture, how the Lord have respect unto his chosen. Going into, uh, some of my brother had brought out a camp yesterday. About, you know, with people in this world, they um they endure chastisement, they endure uh being hazed to join a fraternity, knowing that that affiliation will bring them um, you know, uh, you know, more job opportunities, um, and things of that nature. Better job opportunities too at that. So they deal with the, the, the scorn, you know, and to the rest of the world, you know, the shit they got to do, it looks stupid. But in their own heads, they don't mind it because they understand the end goal. You know, like I said, certain things they may have to do, you know, you can't take a shower for like a week. You got to shave your head bald. You know, you got to, if it's two in the morning. And your um superior wants to slurp you from uh 7 Eleven, then you better go get it. You must go get it. You know? And um in that aspect, others that, you know, they might get a ring or they might get a um I know when I was younger, my old uh gym teacher, he he got a uh he actually got it branded on, you know, like one of those um when you take a branding iron and burn it into your skin, he actually got that, you know? So that's on him for life. And people, you know, like I said, when you go for job interviews or maybe when the cops pull him over, you know, he has a favor with them. All right? But it's how much more in this truth, you know? We deny ourselves. We look like shit for this world. We look stupid. All right, but Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shai, you know he um he had respect to us. Like um for example, what did Yahweh say about Yahweh Shai after that? He have dealt with all that pain, right? This is Isaiah chapter fifty three, verse um seven. Salakia. Yeah, I'll start at seven. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He's brought as a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before his shearers is dumb, so he openeth not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? For he was caught off out of the land of the living, for the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and the, with the rich in his death. Because he have done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. Okay. And, um, you know, it's not like in this world to where they just do it just to do it. You know, Yahweh did this to Yahweh Shai, first for his own iniquities, and then for the iniquities of the, the elect that would come after him. You know. And um, 
do the elect, the rest of Israel shall be saved. And that's what that means. It's a side note by John 3.16. You know, that the Lord uh, died for the world. Okay. The elect of Israel. The cosmic, well, the world which is Israel. All right. And then um, when you um, look into it even more, it's the elect of Israel. And then through Israel, all, all the rest. And then through the elect, all the all the rest will be saved. Okay, but he endured it. He was spat on. When you go into Matthew 26 and 27, it breaks it down. Yahweh Shah was spat on. He was mocked. What was it? Uh, somebody had slapped him and said, Prophesy who smote thee. If thou be the son of God, you know, get thyself off this. Uh, if thou be the son of God, you know, get yourself off the off this uh, cross. You know, what the, script, the scriptures prophesied it as a tree, but, you know, the cross is made up of wood. That's why it was that's why it was called a tree. You know? But now look at him, man. He shall see the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great. And he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he hath poured out his soul unto death. And he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bared the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. You know, let me see what it says in the good news. In the news. <laughs> Think about the brother over there in um, the main camp, Connor Wolf. Shout out to that brother. The good news translation. It says, um. And so I will give, I'll start at 11, Isaiah 53 and 11. After a life of suffering, he will again have joy. He will know that he did not suffer in vain. My devoted servant with whom I am pleased will bear the punishment of many. And for his sake, I will forgive them. And so I will give him a place of honor, a place among the great and powerful. He willingly gave his life. And shared the fate of evil men. He took the place of many sinners. And prayed that they might be forgiven. You know. So man. When the Lord gets back man. You know. And he rewards us. For devoting our lives to him. You know. We're going to receive. Um, we're going to receive the first. The first of everything. You know. So going back into Salak, yeah. Right? It says This the people saw and understood it not, neither they laid up this in their minds. That his grace and his mercy is with his saints. What does it say in Hebrews and Proverbs 3? He says that the Lord ch uh, chastises those whom he loves and scourges those whom he loves. This, his grace and his mercy with his saints, and that he have respect unto his chosen. You know? And um, in this instance, it's talking about Enoch, how the Lord took Enoch away from the wicked. So that he will be not be um um you know joined with them, you know, or he would not be uh not joined with them, but um converted into their wickedness, you know, and um the most high as the scriptures say, I have called thee, I have chosen thee to be a prophet unto me, you know, so low, you know, low willing we endure, you know, us us pouring out our soul even unto death. You know, making that uh, a worthy sacrifice unto the Lord as we know he's a man of war. All right. This is what we shall receive. The disciples said we have forsaken all. You know. And a lot of them, when you go into the history. All right. They literally forsook all. They, they forsook their own lives. You know. 
Thus the righteous that is dead shall condemn the ungodly which are living, and youth that is soon perfected the many years, and old age of the unrighteous. For they shall see the end of the wise, and shall not understand what God and his counsel have decreed of him, and to what end the Lord have set him in safety. They shall see him and despise him, but God shall laugh them to scorn. And they shall hereafter be a vile carcass and a reproach among the dead forevermore. For he shall rend them and cast them down headlong and they shall be speechless. And he shall shake them from the foundation and they shall be utterly laid waste and be in sorrow and their memorial shall perish. And when they cast up the accounts of their sins, they shall come with fear and their own iniquity shall convince them to their face. You know, and that's what's going to happen. The scriptures say all those, you know, when Yahweh Shah comes back, you know, he's going to get busy on those that are uh, pierced him, man. And they're going to know, man, I effed up. You know, those that came against the prophets, when that day comes, man, they're going to know they effed up, man. You know, when those, when they hear that, new, that news on the, um, you know, when they hear the news on the, on the, on the, on the, on the television, you know. My fellow Americans, it has been a good one. Some shit like that. Some 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 pre-recorded uh <laughs> some pre-recorded uh message from the president. Meanwhile, his ass in a bunker safe. You know, say goodbye to your loved ones and your families. Is it has now been announced that Russia has a uh, uh, Russia, China, Pakistan, Iran have sent you know have blasted off nukes. It'll be here in 30 minutes. Try to get to shelter. Some bullshit like that. Then you're going to remember those signs that you've seen with the brothers had on, the, you know, at the camp. And you just walked past, probably stepped on them, you know. You're going to remember that, man. You're going to remember those crazy guys in dresses, man. So-called. You know, so with that, shalom to the elect.